Project Nigel. <laughs> Project Morris is behind me, but I'm not doing anything with that car today. And there's Project Jeremy, which needs the rear arms doing on it. But it's unlikely I'll be even making a start on this one today as well. And look, Project Kev is back in the yard. I've been driven it down here today so it can go off road and have the head gasket done. Project Jeff looking like some sort of low riding dead gangster. Not happening today though. Instead, today is essentially the second episode of Project Barry. I picked this car up last night from my friend Toyob in Burnley. Now he thinks it should be called Mary Jane. But, you know, I choose the names around here, nobody else. Now we can certainly see that this is a very nice example of a 214. I believe it's been garaged nearly all of its life. And because of that, we don't see any rot there, any rot there, or here either. Now I believe this car was uh, looked after by an older gentleman and that has one very good thing and one not so good thing. The first good thing is that uh, I believe it's been very, very well maintained and it's never failed an MOT. On the downside though, it means that every corner and some worse than others has a scuff. Not a major thing, but that is how old people tend to find their way around by bumping into things. It also means the clutch is burnt out. Anyway, besides that, it is a fine example of a very straight car indeed. So, once we get all this snow off of it, I'll see if there's any other bodywork that needs to be done. Now, this car is what you might call the um, poverty spec or cooking model, as I prefer to call it. So in here, we do not find leather seats, but cloth seats. That said, they are in very, very nice condition. Unfortunately, we do have the usual saggy headlining. Here we find wind down windows and no wood capping. Even more strange, no wood on the dash there. Now I've been a Rover man for very, very many years and I've never ever seen one without that wood cap. It kind of makes it even more special somehow. All right, let's start it up. Starts very easily, very well, and the mileage, 59,000 miles, close on 60 realistically, all very good indeed. So, wheel trims, no alloys here, and look at this, I mean I did think they look quite small, but look at the size of those, 15580 R13. I thought 13 inch wheels were the stuff of legend. Anyway, I'm going to get this car put inside so that I can put uh, Jeffrey back where it was before so I can possibly work on two cars at once. Righty oh, so I had the car inside uh, ready to do some work. But the only thing is the um, gearbox is on that side and I haven't really given myself a great deal of working room there so I'm going to have to push it out a little bit there it is push back out again which of course I did all by myself without any other manpower at all so now I've just got to push it gently back in without crashing it into anything there we go that's much more like it excellent excellent now not only does it have the wheel trims and the wind down windows and the lack of wood in the dash it also has this, a single cam K-series engine with this funny air filter that looks like a massive tadpole on the top. Right, now I might have told you, or might not, I've told you that Project Dom here isn't actually my car, so I'm not going to do anything with it. Um, it's owned by a man called Dom. And he's just turned up in the car that he's driving instead. Dom's turned up with his other car and he's using it for the correct purpose. The only purpose for something like this, a tip run car. It's cold. Right, anyway, so 
due to having uh, some other things to do and having to go out and flat batteries and things like that to deal with um, my progress on this car today has been getting it inside that's really about it so maybe tomorrow I must say it's absolutely fantastic having another R8 in the shed. 